wonder you couldn't hear me. Is that your new tape? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm -hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> Peter! We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. You watched The Exorcist when you were younger than me. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Okay, it's not that. It's, it's opening night and it's my birthday, you know? It was meant to be. Meant to be, huh? Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'm not a little kid, Ma. I walk home from school all the time. And yesterday it got you that black eye. I told you I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. 
Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. So what, now you're too old for gifts? Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. I want you home right after the movie. Stop by the arcade for a bit. Keep pushing your luck, mister, and you won't be going anywhere. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. You know, I was talking to Janie's mom the other day. Uh, here we go. She's a lovely girl, Peter. Oh crap. I'm gonna miss Knight Rider. Guess I'll just have to wait for the rerun. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. I know the real reason you don't want to finish our game. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. I miss him so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them. If I was too afraid down in the basement. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Dance as every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Sky's clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. 
Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now, more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What sort of enemies? I'm not sure exactly. His people were at war. And he knew that if he stayed with us, the war would follow him to Earth. So, he made the hard choice. He gave up this life for the sake of his people. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really want to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're going to have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sick. <sighs> oh, shit. Stop! 
Thank <laughs> you.